Hello and good morning. It is July 3rd, 2023. Can you believe it? Tomorrow is the 4th of July. It is Independence Day and we've got all kinds of fun, exciting things going on. Hey, listen, before I hop into our topic today, I want to make sure that you know If you're looking for information, inspiration, motivation, if you need a little bit of help moving forward with your health and fitness journey, be sure to click on the comment, join the Home Gym Hustle Hero group, and uh, you know what, you can join with that and work out with me every Monday and Friday. We get the challenge group going live and we work out together. It's a lot of fun and you definitely want to be part of it, and I can also help you out you know, with setting goals and achieving what it is you're wanting to achieve. If you are a busy parent and, you know, you can't find that little help for yourself, that little area for yourself to carve that little niche to take care of yourself and to heal yourself, protect yourself, be strong, healthy, fit, then I'm here to help you out with that. So go ahead, join my group, come along with me. We're going to have a great time. So listen, I've been thinking a lot about over the weekend thinking a lot about, uh, you know, as as we're getting into uh, the summer and everything, things are kind of all over the place. It's that time of year where you have vacations and all that kind of stuff. And you begin to appreciate the patterns and the routines of life. Now, when it comes to kids, uh, the thing that you have to realize is that they really, really crave routine and pattern. It's very important to have routine. Uh, You know, you have to go to sleep at the same time. You have to go to have dinner around the same time you have to have dinner with the same people you have to have you know watch tv around the same time or read around the same time it's really important what you find out with kids is that they they really flourish when you have those kinds of patterns that are set that when you you know are consistent consistency is very important now what's interesting of course when it comes to kids and by the way adults are exactly the same way as i'm about ready to describe they do kick and fight against the routines and the patterns but you know deep down they really crave it and they really want it and it's something that they really want to have and is very very important to them so i want you to keep that in mind because Adults are the exact same way. All humans are actually like that. We are, in fact, creatures of habit. We like to do the same thing day in and day out. Now, that's not to say we like to do exactly the same thing. We like to have the same general patterns, things that we can recognize, things that we can go along with, and then deviate from that to to a certain degree. You see this everywhere. It's not arguable. That's why we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's why we work nine to five. Even if you look into the world of, say, music, for example, what kind of music do you like? Well, if you like blues music, for example, there are rules to blues music. Like if you say, I like blues music, then you know it's going to be 12 bars. It's going to have a, uh, you know, uh, the seventh chord, the dominant seventh chord. It's going to have these kinds of, there there are these certain patterns. It's going to have a pentatonic minor scale. It's going to have a flattened fifth, all this kind of stuff. These rules that if you know anything about music, define what that means. Now, what the, those definitions are the patterns. They're the, the patterns that get repeated, and that's what defines it as this thing that we want. And we like that. Human beings like that. We, if you say, I'm going to play some blues music and start playing a... Um, you know, and, and, and sit down and a symphony starts playing, then you don't like it because you can't predict it because that's not what you're looking for. So patterns are important and stability is important. And it's really key to understand how important that is, both you and for your kids. And I just want to talk a little bit this week specifically when it comes to patterns about sleep. So I notice a lot of people... Uh, don't have set routines for their kids when it comes to sleeping. Uh, a lot of times, and, and people are like this in general, you know, the whole idea of like falling asleep watching TV or taking their tablets or their, you know, their, uh, their, their phone to bed and sitting and staring at it and that type of stuff. Well, what I want to encourage you this week and some of the topics I'm going to be talking about this week is going to be focusing on defining those patterns, setting those patterns, and enabling yourself better and more fuller sleep based on set uh, sleep routines and set sleep patterns. So to start things off with today, I want to really encourage you with your kids 
to set a, a bedtime that you actually stick to. It's really important. It's very valuable. And yes, they'll kick. If you if you don't do it at all, if you just like wait for everybody to fall asleep, you know, in front of the TV or whatever, then at first they're really going to kick and fight against it and they're not going to like it. But you set that as a routine and you start out the day, uh, the, the week doing that, and then go into it regularly, set the bedtime for say nine o'clock or 10 o'clock or something like that. And yeah, they're going to grumble. They're going to lay in bed. They're going to say they can't go to sleep. They're going to say they can't fall asleep. They're going to say all of those things. And in time, though, they'll come to appreciate it and enjoy it. And same thing goes for you. Set a bedtime. Set a time to go to bed every night. Set that time, whether it be 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever it is, set that time and make that an appointment. Don't stay up, you know, watching, you know, if you're binge watching a show, don't fall into that trap of, well, I'm just going to watch one more episode. It, don't, you know, be scrolling on your phone. Now, we're going to talk about some other things a little later this week that will also improve your sleep and make sleep a little bit easier on you. One of those things is avoiding lights and, and um, tablets, you know, uh, screens and uh, the, the, the bad kind of light for uh, sleeping. Some of the other things involving uh, eating, um, when to eat, and some of the other things uh, involving what type of information to um to, to put in your brain before you fall asleep, how to prepare yourself for sleep. But the, the simplest step, and I always say, I say it over and over and over again, is the best way to achieve any goal is to aim towards an ideal and then take the, sh- the smallest step. And the smallest step to proper sleep, and listen, I know that you don't get proper sleep because so many people don't get proper sleep. And then they indoctrinate those bad habits into their kids who don't get proper sleep. So I want to encourage you to take the smallest step towards proper sleep, set a bedtime, and then stick to that bedtime. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to comment. I'll let you know that my bedtime, I go to sleep about 10.30, between 10.30 and 11 every night. And I'm pretty strict about it outside of weekends and you know unless we're on vacation or something like that so i stick to it i hope that you do the same thing and uh drop me a comment let me know what you do what's what's your bedtime what would you like to do and be sure to join the home gym hustle hero group to help you feel better stronger help you achieve your goals give you the information the motivation and the inspiration that you need to be moving forward thank you so much for watching today and i'll talk to you again tomorrow bye for now